right? If you think that that's freedom, the idea that you have to wear less, the idea that you have to get naked to be heard, you really think that's a form of freedom? Because that's not. That's slavery. That's bondage. I didn't have to take off my clothes to be heard in society. And these women will realize that when you follow these people that are you know, self-imposed feminists. I'm a feminist. I do this. I'm a feminist. You hear that word over and over and over again. You'll find the majority of them are miserable. Mm. Look at their lives and ask yourself a question. Do you think they are happy? When I was young, this is what feminism was about. Allow your female children to go to school. Allow your female child to study engineering. Allow females in sports. Allow females to, uh, to, do, to pursue politics. And a lot of very reasonable things. But right now, these women have graduated from the real feminism you are talking about to another thing. And when you are pursuing, you see women pursuing things like allow us to dress the way we want, allow us to sleep with whoever we want. I mean, I can't seem to understand this, this new feminist agenda because to me, this is not how feminism should be. This is not real feminism. As a feminist, you can support marriage, there's nothing wrong with marriage. As a feminist, you can choose to even be a housewife. There's nothing wrong with it. As a feminist, you shouldn't be against men, against you see you mob other people because simply because they got married, simply because they believe in having kids, simply because I mean that is not what feminism was all about in the first place. That is not the point. Let me give use Nigeria as a as an example. As Nigeria is now, how many women are in politics? That is where you should be talking about. How many how many women hold important positions? That is what you should be talking about. There are still places that don't believe in sending their women to school. That is what you should be talking about. You're not supposed to come and be talking about, oh, this one, I hate men. Oh, that is not the point. That is not the point. I think they have basically lost it this time around. You see someone who come on the internet basically wearing nothing and then she shouts women's rights. And I'll be like, please, where did this one start? This is not what it was about. This is not what it was about. Okay, you dress anyhow you want, it's nobody's business, but that is not what you should be fighting for. That is not what you should be fighting for. You guys have lost it. True feminism doesn't equate men hate. True feminism does not say hate men. So whenever you go to the walls of certain women who call themselves feminists and you always see things like that. Yes, there are so many stupid, evil men, wicked men. Yes, I won't argue that. I won't argue that fact. But that doesn't mean you should say all men, all men, ah, because there are still men who are feminists. Because the way you guys do it now, it now seems as if a man does not have the right to be a feminist again because you guys have now equated it to men hate. So should men now agree that they are feminists? Will men hate themselves? No. A man can be a feminist. But these days, feminism is now men hate. You will see some people who don't even know how feminism started, who don't even know what feminism is all about, and you see them claiming to be feminists. Because I don't think that is feminism. I think this is you bringing out your hatred towards men and pushing your opinion on others, saying you are a feminist. Please, I think this should stop. This should stop. There are many things worth fighting for, for women. There are many rights women still lack. There are many reasonable things that you should fight for that women lack right now in this 21st century, even as things have become as developed as they are now, there are many rights women still lack. And we are fighting men. We are fighting men. Those men we are fighting, there are so many men that are even, to, are even willing to help you fight for your rights. I mean, yes, there are so many bad men, but not all men are bad. Please, please. You women fighting these, you will have sons one day. You will have sons. You have brothers. You have male relatives. Are you trying to say that all the men in your family are bad? All your male children you intend to raise are going to be bad. Is that what you're saying? Please, fight for the rights of women, not hate men. Men hatred is not feminism. Simple. Have a nice day, guys. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.